go with that. Beer. Last single man, beer. desire for long, lifelong companionship. Couples will support and comfort each other throughout the changing experiences of life. May you laugh together in joy, grieve together in sorrow, and grow together in love. Marriage means caring as much about the welfare and happiness of your marriage partner as about your own well-being. Marriage also means working together to create and sustain a home in which the marriage may flourish. With this understanding, Bill Ovila Savant and Leah Marie Clarissa Sheets wish to be joined in marriage. Sure do. <laughs> okay, that's that. Okay. If any persons can show and just, show just and significant reasons why these two persons may not be joined in matrimony, let them now declare reasons or else from this time forward keep their peace. Really? Nobody? There we go. Now I call upon you both in the presence of these witnesses to repeat after me. Leah, I do solemnly declare, I do solemnly declare, that I do not know of any lawful, that I do not know of any lawful, independent why I, independent why I, Leah Marie Clarissa Sheets, may not be joined in matrimony to, may not be joined in matrimony to, Bill Ovila Servant. Bill, I do solemnly declare that I do not know. I do solemnly declare that I do not know. Of any lawful impediment, why? Of any lawful impediment, why? I, I, Bill Servant, may not be joined in matrimony to. May not be joined in matrimony to Leah. Perfect. <laughs> 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 Hold on. As no impediment was declared or admitted, I require you to give answers to these questions. Do you, Bill Ovila Servant, promise to give to Leah Marie Clarissa Sheets the love of your person, the comfort of your companionship, and the patience of the understanding? Will you share with her equally the necessities of life as it may be earned or enjoyed by yourself, and to respect the dignity of her own personal rights. I do. Good job. <laughs> I know. Hold on. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Leah, mm -hmm. do you, Leah Marie Clarissa Sheets, promise to give Bill Ovila Servant the love of your person, 
the comfort of your companionship, and the patience of your understanding. Will you share with him equally the necessities of life as they may be earned and enjoyed by yourself, and to respect the dignity of his own personal rights? Mm, I do. <laughs> she does. <laughs> Okay, the vows. <laughs> now would Bill and Leah please face one another and join hands and repeat after me. Bill, you're up first. Yep. <laughs> I call on those persons. I call on those persons. Presence to witness thy. Presence to witness thy. I, Bill Servant. I, Bill Servant. Do take you. Do take you. Leah Marie Sheets. Leah Marie Sheets. My lawful wedded wife. My lawful wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. In whatever circumstances or experiences. In whatever circumstances. circumstances <laughs> or experiences. Or experiences. Life may hold for us. Life may hold for us. Leah. I call on those persons present. I call on those persons present. To witness that I. To witness that I. Leah Marie Sheets. Leah Marie Clarissa Sheets. Do, <laughs> do take you, Bill Ovila Servant. Do take you, Bill Ovila Servant. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. In whatever circumstances in, or experiences. In whatever circumstances or experiences. Life may hold for us. Life may hold for us. Okay, everyone. At this time, Bill and Leah would like to exchange their own vows. Bill, you first. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't write a speech or nothing. <laughs> 13 but, years. Uh, no, I just want to say that, you know, since we met, we've been together for a long time and We've come a long way, and we, we grew well together, and uh, it's, it's been great, and it's gonna be awesome. Uh, yeah, we have beautiful family, and I couldn't be any luckier. You're the best wife ever. And uh, yeah, so I can't wait to grow old with you. Well, mine's a little longer because I waited for this day for a long time. <laughs> so hold on to your horses, everyone. Take a pee break if you need it. Um, Bill, I lived my life always believing there was a reason for everything. And when I met you, I found that. You have shown me what love is and how love should feel. You have given me a family that I only thought existed in fairy tales. Through all our journey, you have shown me nothing but patience and compassion and love, and I'm so proud to call you mine. I promise to love you without any conditions, to stand beside you through all of the trials and triumphs that we may face, and to work every day as hard as I can to show you the same amount of love that you always show me. I'm so proud of our beginning, I'm so in love with our present, and I can't wait. And I'm so excited for our forever. <laughs> Tissue too. <laughs> Back in it goes. Having declared these wedding vows, let Bill place this ring on the third finger of the bride's Left hand, repeat after me. I give you this ring that you may wear. I give you this ring that you may wear. As a lasting reminder of our marriage vows. As a lasting reminder of our marriage vows. And as a symbol of my love and commitment to you. As a symbol of our love and commitment to you. Leah, repeat after me. Hold on, we gotta slide it on. <laughs> oh, I know, but I'm Ukrainian and they just stick. 
Not the end. Mm. Repeat yeah. after Leah, repeat after me. I accept this ring. I accept this ring. As a symbol of your love and commitment. As a symbol of your love and commitment. Get it. <laughs> Having declared these marriage vows, place the ring on the third finger of Bill's hand and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. That you may wear it as a lasting reminder. That you may wear it as a lasting reminder. Of our marriage vows of and our, a symbol. As a, of our marriage vows and a symbol. Of my love and commitment to you. Of my love and commitment to you. Bill, repeat after me. I accept this ring. I accept this ring. As a symbol of your love and commitment. As a symbol of your love and commitment. Face each other in old hands. <laughs> Bill and Leah, easy, easy. you easy. have consented in marriage and you have declared your solemn intention in this company before these witnesses and in my presence. You have exchanged these rings as a pledge of your love to each other and have joined hands to accept one another. Now, upon the authority vested in me by the province of Alberta, I pronounce you husband and wife, legally married. It's a tradition called feeding the fire. Uh, we're gonna go make a meal for all the people that weren't able to make it here tonight, okay? And, and the memory of them so that they can be a part of this meal with us in this event. One thing to you guys, if you ever hear happy wife, happy life, it is not the case. It is happy spouse, happy house. So be good to one another, like you always have been. Before I had even met the love of my life, Mr. Homie, we were just tiny tots in the Beaver Lodge Satin Slippers Club tearing it up. That was like the it thing. That was, if you danced in Beaver Lodge, you were the shit. So, and little miss here, she was the shit. So, um, I knew her long before I knew Ryer, and we had a bond then. And then I met Ryer and married into the family. Bill, welcome to the family. 
I'm so glad I finally have someone that I can kind of lean over to at, at family gatherings and be like, we married into this. <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> um, and Leah, thank you so much for everything you have done for this family. You are one of the strongest women I have ever met and have the pleasure of having in my life. And thank you for being the sister that I always wanted. So... Holden's going to wrap her up here with a little joke. Deal. Why did the um, flower cross the road? Why? To get to its honeybee. Oh. So what I was told was someone told me marriage is just a piece of paper. But that being said, so is money. And we both, all three of us, we get up every single day and work our ass off to make that money. So marriage might be a piece of paper, but you got to get up every day and work your ass off. <laughs> Woo! There it is. We call that one a Zamboni. Hi there. I happen to be Leah's aunt. On her father's side, I'm, a, I'm his oldest sister. And I can remember the first time Leah come down to, to Foss to visit us with Bill. I'm sure he wasn't sure what he was in for. <laughs> he accepted us, and nobody's crazier than the bunch of us. So Bill, I want to officially welcome you to our family. Thank you. We love you both, and the best of everything. Hi, I'm Auntie Lala, Leah's favorite auntie. Yes, all of you, I'm her favorite auntie. True story, as Uncle Scott would say if he wasn't telling a joke right now. So, um, your Uncle Brian was sitting with me a little earlier, and he says, when you, when you had mentioned about words of, of wedding advice, of marriage advice, I've been married six times, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lie, I haven't been married six times. But, but Brian says, what are those words you said that help make a marriage strong? And I, I had to think about it for a minute. But just like love is four letters, so are these words. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? Sorry. <laughs> and you'll be married for a long time. <laughs> Mind you, I love the fight naked one. That's, that's banging. Okay? Yeah, <laughs> love you guys. Leah, we love you so much. Oh my gosh. And Bill, you just happened to fall into the picture. Like, good for you, man. <laughs> um, thank you for inviting us, making us part of your life, and for being there when we need you. And we are so happy to be able to be a part of this for you and with you and whatever you need after this. We love you. We love you. And cheers to Bill and Leah. Hello. Okay, hello everybody. My name is Amy DeLay and I'm a part of the Beaver Lodge crew that, Hell yeah. yeah, yeah. We were so happy to travel down here and finally see the home and the life that Leah has created because I'm, I always knew that it would be amazing. I didn't quite picture this. This is truly remarkable. Um, Shay and I and my mom, when we drove in the driveway, we just, we just, to call this home, you should be so proud of yourselves. This is unbelievable. Like Bill says, fucking unreal. <laughs> so, anyways, we have waited a long time for this wedding. Like Ryer said, it's been happening like a hundred times. At one point, I was going to Cuba, um, pregnant, uh, global pandemic. Anything bad that could happen usually happens to Leah. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but she always finds her way on top, head up, chin up, ass up, whichever. Anyways, um, I don't want anyone to leave here tonight not have a, like, a glimpse of an idea of exactly who Leah is. I don't know, I sat back and I don't know how to put Leah into words. It's, uh, it's not possible. Um, I can't capture who she is, describe this larger-than-life person in one sentence, an essay, 
I couldn't write a book to describe exactly who Leah is. I couldn't come close to provide you with an honest picture of her this life. She has an incomparable soul, nature, and character. And then I started thinking I must be in good company because there is not a room that Leah walks into and you don't know she's there. She's there. <laughs> um, she is extreme. Leah is all or nothing. Nothing is partial, halfway or a little bit. She is everything all at once. She is unlike anyone you've ever known. You, she is the funniest, the loudest, the craziest, the sweetest, the happiest, the strongest, most genuine person that I've ever known. And I don't have just one story about Leah. How blessed am I that I have a life with Leah? Leah lived next door to us in Beaver Lodge with Ryer and Tyson and Shauna. We spent a lot of time with their family between climbing the spruce trees in the yard, playing Barbies, throwing crab apples at the boys, picking up smoke butts off the street and smoking them in the playhouse, <laughs> playing on the roof of the house, recording over mom's uh, videos when we learned to walk, when Shay Reed and I were just walking, Lee and I recorded over those films to make music videos to Rihanna. And we would blow the motor in the garage door opener so we'd all line up and hang on and someone would click the button and we'd ride up. Once in a while, I think Tyson and Reed got on there too. They were really, really little. <laughs> um, and then you know that game, Jared, that we used to play when we'd like chokehold each other in the basement? <laughs> you know, and like whoever could stay not passed out the longest one. Well, we all remember when we were doing Leah and we thought she was joking around, so we let her go and her head went straight through the drywall. <laughs> oh, you guys don't play that game in Cold Lake? <laughs> Anyways... Leah lost. <laughs> so, uh, many visits to the hospital. I cracked my head open on the fireplace while Shauna made Minnie Mouse pancakes. And Ryer decapitated a, cop a couple times, nearly get decapitated. You know when you drive a skidoo and there's an <laughs> inner tube and sometimes people fall in the middle, but usually you say like, hey, slow her down. Sherry, slow her down. She didn't slow down, so for four kilometers, Ryer was dragged with his head under the tube <laughs> all the way home. He's good, though. Okay? <laughs> uh, previously, I mentioned how Leah's all or nothing. When she does something, it's literally like the biggest production. Um, for those of you that don't know, Leah's a dancer, but she's not just any dancer. Leah's literally the best tap dancer that you'll ever see in your life. Um, no, it's... <laughs> It's not even an exaggeration. When Leah, uh, she performed the Wild Wild West. Um, no, I will never forget that day. Beaver Lodge Satin Slippers Dance Club was forever changed. The whole town of Beaver Lodge was in shambles after watching that performance, I swear to God. Um, I'm hoping Leah remembers those moves and I know she does. Maybe we could get her out here to show the servants how it's done. <laughs> Anyways, um, for the rest of us, we just went to dance. We just danced away. It was probably pretty shitty, but when Leah dances, she goes to Disneyland. That's, that's how far this goes. That's, that's where Leah went to dance. And uh, the apple doesn't far, fall far from the tree in this family. Leah is just like her mama, Shauna. Uh, my mom used to say that she would be talking to Shauna. We were neighbors and our house faced <laughs> their house. And Shauna would mention that she had some light house cleaning to do. And my mom would be looking out the kitchen window, and there's Shauna, there's mattresses getting tossed out the front door, forks, knives, curtain rods, couch cushions, you, you name it. Like, I kid you not, the entire house made it on, its, on the front driveway just for light house cleaning. <laughs> oh, and the cooking. Like, I don't know if anybody else has been able to be invited to a family supper of Shauna's. Um, she'll invite you for a cat. You, you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Holy man, my husband is from a very simple, small family, you know, the odd taco, uh, maybe some rice, a chicken breast. Anyways, when he was invited to his first family supper cooked by Shauna, he was blown away. Like, I, I had to write this down, I, I'm not joking. Homemade pierogies, cabbage rolls, a full turkey, steak bites, homemade buns, homemade egg rolls, chicken wings, pizza, mashed potatoes, and that was just the main course. We went from the Ukraine to Italian to Chinese, all the way back to Western cuisine in one meal. 
and the most unbelievable Christmas dinner you've ever had, it was also there too in that one sitting. <laughs> it was unbelievable. Leah and Bill, they, they are much the same. They lived with Cody and I in our first home. We had one child at the time, we now have four. <laughs> but when Leah and Bill lived with us, they would often say, can we cook you guys supper? And Cody and I, oh yeah, for sure, thank you. $400 Costco bill later, a steak spread, I would, enough to feed a Hutterite colony at least, and there was four of us. <laughs> so anyways, needless to say, she's just like her mom, which is amazing. Uh, Leah was very close to our family. Some might say a little too close. Um, as I mentioned, when my mom used to watch Shauna through her kitchen window, <laughs> she often was ironing in her bra and panties. And even if we did, if we had company, she didn't really change her wardrobe very much. It stayed the same. And her, uh, when she'd go to bed, her, like some of us wear pajamas, whichever. My mom wears a crop top nighty, no panties. So, and if Leah's sleeping over, it still doesn't change. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She, right there in the green dress, just picture it. Anyways, so one night Leah's sleeping over and Shay, my sister and I, we decide we're gonna sneak some friends into the basement. And my mom had some experience with people sneaking in and out. She rigged up alarm systems. At one point she had a mason jar, forks, knives. Um, if you open the basement door, it knocked over the forks and she was right there on your ass in a second. So this one particular day in her crop top nighty, no panties, she heard a noise from the basement and she came charging down those stairs. She's this far from Leah's face and she's giving it to us and she goes, Leah, did you hear me? And Leah's looking down and she said, well, no, Auntie Sherry, I think you need some pants. I just can see your beaver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, although Leah is normally the chatter and the noise in the relationship, one time we got to see a louder version of Bill. A feistier side, he was having a Skype date with Dad and they're having some shots and some drinks and things get a little too carried away and Bill started to get a little mouthy with 37-week pregnant Leah who cooked him a nice meal, even butter to dip your steak, you know? And I'm not gonna get too into the drunk and disorderly conduct that took place, but all I can say is, Bill, I will never forget that you're a fucking rig hand and you're hard as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, well, when, I let, when Leah met Bill, I seen a side to Leah that I'd never seen before. Like Leah mentioned in her vows today, she has never had someone treat her with so much patience, kindness, respect, tenderness that she so deserved. To know that Leah goes to bed every night laying next to a man that loves every ounce of her being is God's work. Leah has had to overcome and face challenges in this life that most people would never even dream up. Bill has been the calm to Leah's storm. Bill is cautious, is the cautious to her wild, the quiet to her loud, the gentle to her boldness, and the composure to her crazy. They are the perfect balance. Bill is Leah's stability and steadiness and through life. They have faced so many challenges, obstacles, and downfall, but they face it with courage and integrity, and they always do the right thing, regardless of what comes at you, which sometimes is super unfair. Together, they created the most beautiful relationship, children, home, and life. And I cannot be more prouder of our Lily, our sister, and Bill, I am forever grateful for you. I know that God has blessed this couple thus far, and my prayer is that he continues to protect and bless this family as they grow in their journey together through life. Amen. Congratulations and cheers to Mr. and Mrs. Savant. Bill and Leah, to Josh and I, we've worked together for five years. You've been a family to us for the last five years. We can't thank you enough, my family, to your family. Uh, you guys have opened up your home and we've done the same for you. But we just, there's just no words to say how great people you guys are. We love you. We will always, always be there for you. And I know you'll be there for us. And Bill, you're one of the hardest working people I've ever met in my life. 
Uh, yeah. You're one of the best rig hands I've ever seen in my life. And we will continue to be friends till the rest of our lives. All right, I've known these two for 6.9 years now. And uh, it just keeps getting better, guys. Like, honestly, like, we were friends for a long time. We were on the race together at first. I was like, who the fuck is this guy, right? Walking in there thinking he knows everything. And uh, then after a while, me and Bill really started clicking. We became best friends, and it just continued into our outside of work lives. And uh, then he introduced me to his beautiful wife, Leah. And that made everything better, trust me. Uh, and uh, yeah, she's the light of every party, guys. Like you walk into a room, Leah is there making the night better. It's just unreal. Like you walk in a room and you're like, ah, oh, fuck, I gotta talk to all these people. I don't know what's going on. And then you turn around and there she is. And it makes everything better. It's, it's been an honor to know you guys, have you guys as friends. I. We'll never forget you guys, and I'm going to keep you guys in my lives forever. GG, we got a thing. <laughs> two, two years ago, three years ago now? GG, two years ago, GG came into our lives as well, and uh, yeah, that was love at first sight. Too bad I was already engaged. <laughs> All I want to say is I love you guys, and thank you for having us in your lives. Thank you very much. I'm so happy that Bill met the love of his life, and we're happy too, and we love them to pieces. Beautiful grand, uh, grandkids, love everybody. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Yeah. Oh, that's it. <laughs> love you guys. It, I can't make it any better than that. Yes, thank you, everybody. I can see uh, that Bill uh, and Leah have a lot of great friends, great family. Uh, you never know when your son leaves what's going to happen. Eh? But uh, turned out great. Turned out great. Very proud. Very proud. Yeah. But you know, before Bill moved out there, when he was back home, uh, he had him and his buddy Chris there. They used to have their little uh, little uh, cabin there back in the woods there behind Joe Lake there, you know. And uh, they had a couple of girlfriends back then, you know. So um, when they heard that Bill was getting married, they uh, drugged by the house. And they dropped off the keys for the shack because they, they don't need them anymore since Bill's, they're not going to use it anymore. Oh the keys from the old girlfriends there. <laughs> anyway, congratulations. I love you both a million, like, you know, a million dollars worth. Thank you, everybody. All right, I already told you guys about my love affair with Gigi. And if it wasn't for my fiance, I'd be with her right now. So, first of all, I just want to um, thank absolutely everybody who has pitched in over the last week, after the last couple months, years planning and supporting and backing and coaching and cheering and being there to help auntie, aunties grannies, family, friends. Um, I don't think I've ever seen community come together like I have in Cold Lake and, and how people support and hold each other up. It's absolutely amazing and I'm so grateful to have been invited into that and been made a part of that. So thank you everybody for those pieces. Uh, 
I always, I, I didn't know um, that God would bless me with the, what they call the million dollar family. I mean, any, any child and, and relationship is, is precious, but um, when I had my boy, I was so, so happy. I got to give, give my dad his first boy and um, that was a great, that was a great thing. Ryer was crawling behind me. He was about five and a half months old, and I was in my little trailer that we had made home in, in Beaver Lodge. His dad was out at work, and I thought, geez, I haven't, you know, should be getting that now. And I'm like, I'm not getting it. And I'm like, holy shit, I'm pregnant. <laughs> and Ryer's crawling behind me, just like Luke crawls behind me around the house now, crying. And I'm like, oh my God, what am I going to do? Because it was the 90s and it was a recession and I knew that uh, it was going to be tough, but we made it. And uh, went in the hospital early because I had an EMT test to write on her due date and I couldn't, that couldn't happen. And I thought I was having a boy. And, uh, and out come this little girl. And I was so happy to have her. Um, and I had all these names picked out, but I looked at her and I thought, my God, you're a Leah Marie. It wasn't even a name that come, come to me until then, but I was so happy to have her. Yeah. And then um, it's, you know, we all have life to face and we all got to work hard and put our head down our ass up and get at her. I did that time and we time. did. And, and, <laughs> and we, we did that and we, we worked hard and I, I, um, I was thinking to myself, um, lots of times on the road, either to work, from work or whatever, what would I do? What would I miss? What, what would I not see if I wasn't there the day she got married? What would I not see if she, I wasn't there to see how beautiful she was going to be, to see the man that she was lucky to find, to see the beautiful kids that, that God has blessed us with. And I'm just really grateful to be here and to share that with with my little girl, my best friend. I'm so proud of her, and I'm so proud of Bill, and I'm so blessed with the family I have that I can't even thank God enough. And um, I just want to thank you all for being here and sharing this with us, and, and thank God for the many blessings that we've received and the many more blessings that we will. And thank you, everybody, for coming. All right, enough of the sappy shit. We'll park that for a second. Um, I guess, I uh, thank you guys. There's a lot of people that I know traveled a long way. Thank you very much. Jolie, thank you for an excellent meal. Um, it was fantastic. Thanks to uh, Dipshit and all the guys that were around here helping. Uh, set up, the place looks really good. When they told me they were getting married here, I was like, oh, absolutely, whatever you need. So. No, they've done an amazing job. I think they, you know, made the yard look really good, and I think it's a pretty intimate and quiet uh, ceremony. So a round of applause for how everything looks. <laughs> and uh, Bill, is, um, I wasn't sure if you were going to leave the womb room for the wedding, but you did, and I'm happy about that. So <laughs> thank you very much. Um, welcome to the family, buddy. You've been like uh, a brother to us for a long time. And... Uh, Thanks for taking care of my baby sister. <laughs> God, I'm a tit. <laughs> yeah, no doubt, eh? <laughs> um, well, I think I got this one. Um, it's funny because this wedding was planned 78 times and I had a lot of holidays booked off for it, but 
um, when we got married, my, me and my wife, um, kind of the prayer that we used was timing is everything. So I think it's, you know, timing is everything. And uh, it's important that it happened this time. So um, raise your glasses to uh, a very special couple to us. And I know a special couple to a lot of people here. And uh, please don't drink and drive. <laughs> and let's uh, keep Dawn away from the peach crown tonight and have a good time. <laughs> Uh, we'll start off by saying we know this isn't a short trip. So for everyone who's came, even from uh, Grand Center of Cold Lake, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We knew we had a good support. We knew we had a lot of people in our life who supported us and loved us and wanted to see the best for us. And to see you all in one room, it means more than I can ever say. Um... I just want to say that you're right, Ryer, timing is everything. And in this ceremony, I have a lot of big faces that are on in here. And uh, we miss them dearly. And we wish more than anything that they could be here with us tonight. So I've waited over 4,000 damn days to do this thing. <laughs> With no fault of your own, honey, I know that uh, you had to wait for that mustache to grow. <laughs> but um, I'm going to say something is I had the most amazing, we had the most amazing team behind this. So I want to give a huge shout out to the Cramptons, the Evans, the Dumont Lizots, the JFLs. To all the kids that helped out, to my people who showed up early, Bridget, Curtis, Kim, Roger, Joanne, Hannah, Mark, Dipshit, even though you're a little bit of a pain in my ass sometimes, I'm really grateful to have you around in the sock. Um, my brother, my sister, my aunties, my uncles, my grannies, <laughs> holy mokers, there's 400 buns. I don't know if they just looked at my figure and were like, eh, she'll eat 12. Um, but... <laughs> I really appreciate all 400 of them and the cinnamon buns. Leave a couple for me, please. Um, it is, you guys all mean beyond words to us. So I would be really upset if anybody got in a vehicle after having a couple wobbly pops and drove. So I can't press this enough. We do have a ride home for you. Please be safe tonight. And if you don't want to, me and Bill will scooch over for you in the middle, okay? <laughs> Um, yeah, with that being said, to mom and dad, and to mom and my brother, Carol and Don, I didn't, I didn't know what to expect when I walked into this, but I remember the first time that Carol's arms went swinging down the corridor from the airport that I was in for a, for a good one. And I knew when uh, Don cut his lawn and I seen the perfectionism that Oh, that's where Bill got it from. <laughs> so if he picked me, he did all right. Um, I love you both so much. Thank you for giving me this family. Thank you for giving me Bill. I couldn't be happier. Thank you. <laughs> Hold up, hot lips, you're last. <laughs> to uh, mom. You've been my beacon. You've been my pole that I've stood beside. And out of a lot of things, you've gotten me out of a lot of sticky situations. When things were tough, Mom, even when I knew it was hard for you to stand, you stood and walked beside me. So I appreciate that. And I'm, I'm so grateful that you're my right hand and woman here. So thank you for, this, for letting me be myself for telling me to just keep dancing, girl, and for helping me find my man and not shutting him out when he only ate one plate of pierogies at the suppers. <laughs> yeah, oh, he, oh, Bill, Bill was a little slimmer when we first met. We had to match. Um, Ryer, and Tuki, but I'll get to you after. Ryer. This is hard. Um, 
I always knew that you'd be the guy in front of me, and I'm so beyond grateful that you were the guy beside me. A lot of life lessons were learned through this, and a lot of hardships were taken to get to where I am. Ryer, you are, you are my soul brother. Like, you are the peace in my heart that has kept me going, and I am so grateful that I got to hold your arm and walk towards the man of my dreams. So thank you. All right, well, I'm not, I'm not that good at speeches, but... Uh, <laughs> Jesus. No, I... J I just want to say uh, thank you for everybody that came out today to, uh, to celebrate our special day. Um, I'm a very lucky man. I have, uh, you know, the woman of my dreams. We have a uh, beautiful family, and we're, uh, we're, we're a hell of a team. Uh, beyond that is, you know, everybody around us, you know, wonderful people. Uh, right from when we said we were getting married, we had uh, people willing to help right away. And, the learning you know, committee back there. Yeah, the support that we got is, is amazing. And uh, I, I want to say a big thank you to everybody that, uh, that helped us out with this wedding. Uh, yeah, it's hard to say everybody. You guys all know who you are, but thank you from the bottom of my heart. I uh, really appreciate it. And uh, it's unfucking real, really. <laughs> yeah, it, it is. And one more person I forgot, not that I forgot, that Bill just got a little pushy. Um, little Brother Tukey, the mo thank you from the bottom of my heart for showing up here today for also being the little guy that followed behind too and uh, came and helped me out. I love you. I wish nothing but mountains and stars for you, buddy. So thank you for everything. And we're really grateful that you're part of this little clan here. And heaven, you're all right too. <laughs> All right, I hope everybody has a good time tonight. It's, uh, it's gonna be a good party.
surprising. The sun stops it shining. You know you've got a 